wind turbine is an ideal way to keep your batteries charged up, especially if uh, space is a premium on board. A wind turbine simply will produce power from the wind. Uh, the wind turbine will follow the wind. Depending on the speed of the, the wind and the size of the turbine, you'll get different types of output from it. So here at Marlec, we manufacture three uh, marine wind turbines. A very small one, the 504, which is this one here, designed for a boat uh, with a battery bank up to about 100 amp hour. Uh, generally, that would put 10 to 15 amp hours a day back into the battery. Next size up is the 914, uh, which is our medium-sized turbine, designed for a boat with a, a larger battery bank. That would put in around about uh, 40 to 50 amper hours of usable power back into your battery a day. And then we move on to the 1200, which is our new turbine, which is supplied with the controller. That would put 80 to 100, 120 amper hours a day back into your battery. So that's ideal for a, a boat which has uh, quite a high energy usage. All of our turbines can be uh, supplied with different controllers, different regulators, depending on how you want to charge your batteries. Um, the 1200 is supplied with the controller. Um, what the controller does basically is once your batteries start to reach fully charged, it will start to slow the wind turbine down. It physically stops them spinning to prevent your batteries from overcharging and damaging your batteries. A wind turbine would need to be installed generally at the, at the rear of the boat. Uh, the higher the tower, the more uh, output you're going to generally get from the wind turbine because you're going to see higher wind speeds. Uh, as the Americans say, more tower, more power. We do a range of marine mounting kits which are polished stainless steel uh, designed for each of our wind turbines. Um, but it's very simple to install. It's all pre-drilled so once the turbine goes on the top the output cable comes down the inside of the tube and then would be routed through the boat to the battery which is where the controller will be as well. There's no real maintenance with, with uh, a, a, one of our wind turbines, um, generally uh, just a, a physical uh, inspection once every 12 months to make sure the nuts and bolts are still tight, uh, but other than that there's no real um, yearly servicing needed. Uh, perhaps after a number of years of service you would perhaps change the, the brushes and, and at some point the bearings in the turbine as well. It is a, a moving unit, it does have bearings in it, but that will probably last you 8 to 10 years uh, quite happily.